Hey guys, my name is SickBio21 and welcome back to Let's Play Punch Out Wii. Today is the Major Circuit Challenges. For Piston Hondo, we have to defeat Piston Hondo and land every punch to our own, easy. Find both one punch knockdown weak spots, also easy. Win the fight with 34 or more remaining hearts. That seems like kind of an arbitrary challenge, I'm not gonna lie. Most of these are really just. Well, one of them is figuring out how to fight him, but other than that. It should be easy. Land every punch, just know his patterns, know how to hit him. Right now I got a star punch, which is going to be important for one of the knockdown spots. And yeah, I was a little cocky there when I threw that fourth punch. If you don't think that you can counter punch, don't. This is one of the knockdown's weaknesses. You hit him with a star punch while he's bowing. And since he only really bows once during the fight, if you're lucky, well, not if you're lucky, that's a guaranteed then just get the Star Punch beforehand, because that's going to make things a lot easier. The second not one-hit knockdown punch will come a little later. It's from one of the special attacks. If you recall what he does for a special attack, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Assuming that you don't really know anything about this fight. Right now, can't really do much. And here we go, his Hondo Rush. When he's doing that, you counterpunch it. Yeah, you don't have to block it or dodge it. Dodging it doesn't even work. You just punch him and he's down. Hey, that's kind of convenient, eh? And what's even more convenient is that after getting out the second time, he does it again. Here we go. And since I think I only lost one heart during that, I clear all three challenges. And if you fall below, below 34 hearts, let yourself run out of hearts, or let yourself get knocked down, either way, that'll work, I think. But anyway, with Piston Hondo's challenges, not that hard, I just did them. Oh, and I uh, forgot to bring attention to the fact that I now have a banner for my Punch-Out videos, thanks to iCabbygon. Thank you, buddy. Looks really good, I think. Now for Bear Hugger. Win the fight and evade every Bear Hug. TKO Bear Hugger in round one. Find five different ways to earn stars. Uh, pretty easy challenges. And... The ways to earn stars are actually pretty obvious. Actually, one of the ways to earn stars wasn't really... I didn't get to show that during my first fight with him, so... Now's my time to redeem myself. Now the first star you get from punching him when he's taunting. You hit him when he's doing the hook. Punch him when he's doing the upper, the uh, overhead smash. Uh, what were the other challenges? Crap. Uh, oh yeah, evade the bear hugs and uh, crap. I I forget way too easily, but we're on our way to doing that anyway. We have three of the star punches so far. It's gonna be a while before. Oh yeah, TKO in round one. You can hit him during his bear. What he's about to do is bear hug to get a fourth star. And fifth star right here. Punch him when he's doing that taunt when his belly's out as far as it can be. So we clear that challenge. The rest should be easy. I think from here on out, I duck the bear hugs as opposed to trying to counter a star punch from them. Or counter to get a star punch rather. Because I didn't I didn't feel lucky. Oh wait, now I got I did that. No, I just, yeah, good thing that wasn't a bear hug. It's funny how Bear Hugger's attacks do don't do more than they seem like they should, because he's a pretty big guy. And that was just me being cautious. I don't know why I'm getting so many emails. All that there is left is just to get him down. And... I love that, you just punched the maple leaves out of him. You know, this is the Toronto Maple Leafs, they're, they're a hockey team. Did you know that? Now you do. Alright, that takes care of the first two opponents, that both of which can be completed in one one round. I like it when all the challenges can be done in one round. That means it's a, it takes a lot less time to do it all. But the same cannot be said for Great Tiger. Let's see what we have for Great Tiger. We have... Win the fight and evade every rushing magic attack, easy. TKO or KO, Great Tiger using only right jabs, and TKO, Great Tiger with only three punches. This is, the last one is another one of those challenges where you have to exploit a weakness that might not be obvious the first time you're playing. I only tackle the first and third challenges my first time around, evade every rushing magic attack, and 
and TKO in three punches. You will see soon enough how to do that. This challenge, I just dodge, I, I do not counterattack. It's as easy as that. We aren't able to hit him down in one punch just yet. You can probably tell how we're gonna do it. Yes, it's this. The rushing magic attack. When he comes in to you for the kill, you hit him. It, I think it has to be a hook. I think that's more reliable, and then he goes down in one hit. So he leaves himself very vulnerable during this time. Just don't feel the urge to t attack him, or else it's going to be bad for you, and you won't be able to get the challenge. Well, you want to be able to get the challenge, don't you? you got to play the waiting game. Some of these fights are like that, but... Uh, what's great about this is that... You clear both challenges while only trying to go for one of them, so that's convenient. Uh, I love challenges like that. Challenges that are easy, which... They're really... They really shouldn't be called challenges in that case. But I don't care. Because it, it's good for me. We're about to get him down right here. Yeah, do you switch around? Yeah. His magic is going on the fritz and he falls to the ground. Happens to the best of us. Now for that second challenge. I labored over whether I was going to do this on camera or not, and I decided I would. But it's going to be sped up. Okay. The, the footage is sped up, but my voice isn't sped up. All I have to do for this is to fight him how you normally would, but only use your left right fist. And you must always hit his face. You are not allowed to hit his stomach once, or it will fail. I also don't think you can counter his rushing magic attack during this, which is why you need to do it like this. It is very time-consuming because you're not punching him as frequently as you are when you're punching him with both of your fists, Frank. Just, uh, frankly. And frankly, that's a, that's a Holocaust joke. It's not that funny, so don't laugh at it. Uh, do I have anything else to say about this challenge? Oh yeah, you, you're not allowed to use star punches, but I think that should be a given. And just to be safe, just always be attacking his face. I don't have anything else to say. I'm already out of time. Uh, here we go. I'm just spinning through his cutscenes, even though the, even though it's hilarious. Keep going on. Is it going out of sync? Whatever. Not that it really matters. Like I said, this is time consuming, but it's still possible to do in round two. I don't think you have to go all the way to round three. It also doesn't count if you go all the way to decision, because the challenge was KO or TKO. So do that. Be a good guy. Be a good boxer, or else. Be a good boxer, or else. Be a good boxer, or else. Do I have anything else to distract you with? Maybe I do. I have this to distract you with. I have my fist to distract you with. I ran out of stuff to say a long time ago. Imagine if I had left it at its original speed. I mean, really. Uh... Yeah, that was out of sync. Okay, now my whole thing is out of sync. Hopefully that's... I can fix that. Uh, how did that happen? Well, anyway, the last challenge, we have Don Flamenco, obviously. For this, knock off Don Flamenco's two-pain round one, that's easy, lay on the damage, TKO or KO Don in a round, we are thrown no more, not thrown more than three punches, find six different ways to earn stars. These are all easy enough. For the first one, you lay on the pain, for the second one, wait until the second round and then pummel him. Here's a hint, hitting him while he's throwing a punch, like, like countering one of his punches, will not count as a as him throwing a punch, just so you know. So, the way to earn stars, you hit him during his middle uppercuts, you hit him during his Carmen Mamor uppercuts, and there's no other opportunities at this moment. Uh, he's just doing the same tricks as he was before, I'm just waiting for him to do something else. We already saw two of the ways to earn stars when we were doing the first fight with him, so that's easy enough. I guess, since that's all he was doing, that's all I could do. Anyway, like I said, just lay the pain on him thick, 
he his toupee will get knocked off after you get him to a third of his health in round one. I mean, third of his health after the second knockdown. Okay, here's star number three, which I've already talked about. When he's doing his rose flurry, you dodge all the punches to the left and then hit him. I'm also... The Ole Taunt, you hit him there. One of the star punch opportunities you have... Or you are able to get until you knock off his toupee. I mean, think about the, the attack that he gets after he knocks off his toupee, and that should be pretty obvious. So... Let's see. I was also showing off a combo thing where after if Don gets freed from a stun, you can hit him in the face and just alternate. Okay, there's punch number five. Block that punch. You can alternate between the face and the stomach, and he will just not be able to break from his break from it, and you can knock him down very easily. It's very exploitable and is often used in speedruns for this game. And you counter that to punch to get your last star punch. And here I am just avoiding everything. I probably should have cut this out before commentating this. In fact, let's do that. And here we are to the mid-round. Now, you can also do the challenge where you knock him out before he throws three punches, but... I mean, in round one, but I prefer to do it this way. Mostly because you can build up some momentum in this fashion. Or you can use the exploitative method that I was talking about before where you alternate between the face and the stomach. Either way works, but in order to do all three challenges, I prefer this. He's throwing two punches at this point, and I'm just comboing him like this. Okay, I didn't knock him down then, but I'll knock him down soon. He's only throwing two punches, remember that. Remember that. I do get the challenge here, so just not to spoil anything, but that's what happens. That's what happens to me. And... I punch him, punch him. The rest of me, this is just me comboing him. He loses a lot of health doing this. And... not quite yet. Here we go, and... I did not get the cutscene when you knock him down, out. But I already showed that, so I don't feel guilty. And that's the major challenges. Again, easy if you know what you're doing. These are nowhere near the hardest challenges in the game. We get sound for the... We get gallery stuff for Don Clemento. Yeah, it's the spirit. It's also the ghost. Apparently. I mean, they're synonymous sometimes. I don't know. Anyway... That's going to do it for this episode of Punch-Out! Wii. In the next episode, we will take on the World Circuit, starting with Aaron Ryan. Take care.